Decades after a young woman disappeared in Lafouche Parish, the family now has some answers thanks to DNA technology. But there are still many more questions about this, and Meg Ferris got an exclusive interview with that family. She's joining us live now from the St. Tammany Coroner's Office. Meg? And Katie and Charisse, 37 years have come and gone since it was reported missing. Paula Ann Boudreaux was reported missing. Now, she was only 22 at the time and the mother of a little toddler son. And she had just come home from the Blessing of the Fleet Festival in her home in Golden Meadow. Finally, St. Tammany Coroner and Lafouche Sheriff's Office announce a break in finding Paula Ann Boudreaux. No coroner's case is ever closed. We're fortunate here to have, <clears throat> as part of our team, a state-of-the-art forensic DNA laboratory. Here's the timeline of what happened. 1986, Paula was last seen. 1989, hunters find partial human remains, bones, and part of a skull in a Slidell wooded area. They are submitted to the LSU Department of Geography and Anthropology for analysis. 2004 to 2008, a profile of her DNA is compared to the law enforcement system. 2013, LSU uses computer-enhanced clay facial approximation to get an image of the unknown female. 2022, St. Tammany Coroner cold case detectives get a tip after two years of active searching. That leads LaFouche Sheriff's Department to get DNA swab samples from Paula's relatives. 2023, she is ID'd, and now today, there is a criminal investigation into a possible homicide. Paula Ann Boudreaux's family now has closure. A great sigh of relief, finally, to know that their sister's been located um, and that they can put her to proper, uh, proper uh, Christian burial. But this case is still not over. I'll say we have people of interest that we've identified. Uh, no one has a specific suspect. Late this afternoon, we found Paula's big sister, Lily, who told us their mom died just five months after Paula disappeared. Her final wish was that she wanted to know what had happened to Paula. Mm -hmm. She would tell me that every day, that she needed to know. She knew she was dying, and she needed to know what had happened to Paula. Lily adopted that toddler little boy who's now a grown man. And now her son knows because he was told when he was about eight years old, you know, that we had adopted him and who his real mother was. Now, right now, they don't know the cause of death on Paula Ann Boudreaux, and we will keep you posted as investigators look into this case. Reporting live from the St. Tammany Coroner's Office, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Still a lot of questions, but one step closer to closure. Thank you, Meg.